Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still T Masso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly for pricing. I am T Masso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we discuss a model launched in 2017, one year after the launch of the Cartier Drive to Cartier. Cartier, we got this, the Cartier Drive to Cartier Moon Phases. 40 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It's a svelte 12.1 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 46.3 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. As so this model came out in 2017 and rose golden in steel, and the steel model gives you everyday durability. Now it is quite thin. You can see with a sloped flank, you can easily roll a sleeve over this, no problem. It's on the large side for a dress watch, and while it's not particularly broad lug to lug or large in diameter, I don't want you to think of this as a 40 millimeter watch. I want you to think of it as more of a 42, because non-round watches always wear different, and they usually wear large. So think of this as a 42 round watch, and you get the general idea. My wrist is 16 centimeters circumference. We have here a semi-gloss large rectangular scale alligator leather strap, black, and it is large, rectangular, symmetrical scale. This is a very high quality cut of the hide. You can also see that it's got some bolstering or stuffing to give it volume. And then in profile, we have a folded edge with a monotone stitch and on the bottom calfskin. And because we use a crimping clasp here of Cartier's design, there's no perforations in the straps. The strap tends to last longer since you don't crimp gouge through the little apertures for a pin buckle. There simply is no pin buckle. Now this folding clasp is a descendant of the one created by Louis Cartier back in 1909, which was one of the first deploying clasps ever created for a wristwatch. It's very similar in many regards, and of course we have used a inventory tag to connect it like that. You can see a single fold, and then what happens is the strap actually tucks through and excess length is hidden underneath the clasp body. So there's no need for minder loops. These are minder loops. This doesn't need them. So it's a very clean look once it's crimped and locked down. Taking a quick look at the case itself, it's a monoblock case, which means that the bezel and the case are all one piece. So it's seamless up top. The dial and the movement load through the case back of the watch. There's a lot of nuance to the design. You can see that the case back is stepped in somewhat, so when it's on the wrist, it does look thinner than it really is. Uh, the case back is polished, the mid case is satinated, the lugs are integrated. You can see there's a wonderful little creasing, a character line where the lugs join the case at each end, and I like that attention to detail. A pusher corrector for the calendar, and in this case, the calendar is a moon phase. The moon phase, per Cartier, is the type you would conventionally find on a perpetual calendar, and while a Perpetual calendar moon phase is typically 122.7 years. Cartier declares that this astronomic moon phase need be adjusted only once every 125 years. So while you have to use a pusher tool to adjust it, you will adjust it infrequently. We have a polygonal polished crown with a faceted spinel cabochon in blue, and you can see that the crystal is a complex shape, cambered across its top, top to bottom, but also from side to side and non-round, and so it's very difficult to fit this kind of crystal and achieve water resistance, but don't doubt the might of Cartier's manufacture out in La chaux de Fonds, Switzerland. This watch is 30 meters water resistant like any dress watch would be. The dial featuring a combination of rosette guilloche outboard, inboard, and then finally at the center dial, and this is the stamped variety of guilloche given the price point of the watch, but it's very handsome, deep, convincing and luxurious. We have extended broadsword style hands in blue Cartier secret signature down at seven radially arrayed stylized Roman numerals. And then we have that crescent style moon phase with a little concentric pattern over it. On the reverse side, you can see this is a version of the manufacturer caliber MC 1904, 1904 LU for Lunaire, two barrels in series, 48 hour automatic winding power reserve. We have ceramic bearings for high efficiency winding and minimal maintenance requirements, 25 pivot joules, four hertz beat rate. You can see we have a eccentric screw micrometric regulator with a Cartier C for very fine adjustments of less than five seconds a day. And then for conventional adjustments and beat error correction, we have Etacron keys. It's also a little mirror 
underneath. As you can see, the bridge for the escapement is mirrored. Although this is a mechanically finished movement, it's handsomely decorated with little flourishes like that. Twin barrels in series aren't there so much to give you a super long power reserve as to give you a very flat torque curve. So only the very end of the power reserve at either end is going to cause the watch to gallop or slow down. Thanks to the twin barrels in series and properly phased mainspring torque curves, the watch achieves largely consistent torque to the balance and constant amplitude throughout those 48 hours, so it can keep a very accurate time indeed when precisely adjusted. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.